What up, BJ Timus here. Here is my recap for the uh, for the twelfth episode of The Mandalorian. This one is titled The Siege. Now, this movie was also directed by Carl Weathers, who is perhaps known for portraying Apollo Creed in uh, the Rocky films. He also played Chubbs in, in the uh, in the Adam Sandler uh, comic classic uh, Happy Gilmore. And here the siege um, sees then uh, Jarjan, who's like pulling into uh, Navarro for uh, repairs, and he ends up actually the character of uh, Grief uh, Carja and his a new marshal Cara Dune, portrayed by Gina Carano to help fix his uh, ship, so we can move uh, to the uh, next uh, phase in the mission. And so uh, in return, they end up asking him for his uh, help in uh, flushing out a uh, Imperial um, outpost. That is left over um, on the uh, planet, and, and so uh, this, of course, uh, sets that um, this sets the stage for a major uh, showdown. This even uh, sets the stage for a major showdown uh, coming in the next episode, which in the next episode it's going to be featuring Rosario Dawson as Oshoko um, Tano. So I'm I'm actually so much pumped for next uh, next week's episode. And of course, you got uh, Giancarlo Esposito back as the character of Mott uh, Gaiden. Uh, the direction of this thing, I thought was cool. I mean, Carl Weathers has directed stuff before. I mean, he. So it was pretty cool to see uh, Carl Weathers, you know, uh, back in the director's chair for this. And, you know, you also got uh, Dr. Uh, Preaching, uh, played by Omid, Omid uh, Ubachu. I thought he was pretty uh, cool to watch in this. You even got Horatio Sands um, actually popped up as a character, which I thought um, it was kind of pretty cool to see uh, Horatio Sands in this because I've always been like, I, I mean, he plays like this uh, character, this um, Marfro uh, character, and he is so funny, uh, really cool. I mean, his uh, neck, you know, sex is uh, like a uh, scared uh, squid that. You know, I, I thought Horatio Sands was really cool. I mean, I remember watching Horatio Sands on Saturday Night Live. I've always been a fan of him. Especially his like, uh, you know, sketches with Jimmy Fallon was always hilarious. I mean, yeah. Uh, and I should mention this episode also brings back uh, Paul, uh, Sun Hong Lee uh, back as Captain Carson Tiva. I think I think he's really a cool addition on the show. Uh, you know, the action sequences was even um, you know cooler. Uh, Baby Yoda was just more adorable. Um, this time around. I mean, Baby Yoda is just always, always the best. Who does not love Baby Yoda? And of course, Pedro Pascal as Mando is cool. I mean, yeah, I cannot wait for next episode because, as I said, we are getting um, the debut of Rosario Dawson as Tana, which I've actually been uh, wondering when we're gonna even gonna get her pop up. Like, are we gonna get her pop up in like the finale or what? But we're getting her uh, popping up a little earlier than expected, so that's pretty cool right there. Anyway. Overall, I thought the siege was pretty solid. It, um, you know, really decent, uh, you know, um, action sequences. Uh, the ending, I thought, was pretty cool. So, yeah, if you guys have not really seen Mandalorian and the Siege yet, give it a shot. It's, I think you'll like this episode. Anyway, let me leave with you guys. Uh, did you have a chance to check? Uh, what, what did you thought of uh, the you know, latest episode of The Mandalorian? Did you like the latest episode? What were some of your favorite moments? Some of your favorite parts in it? And then how excited are you for next episode? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is your Sibu Sion.